Hey guys, it's Doc. In today's video, we're gonna talk about humichar, using humichar with vegetables, flowers, your gardens, and plants that are already planted. So hold on one sec. Hey guys, so one of the things I'm real big on is not listening to people. When someone say you shouldn't do something, I sort of go beyond that and I test it myself to say why not. So that's what I do a lot of. I do a lot of testing and a lot of playing. And one of the things we did this past fall is we took this cheap organic material and biochar and put it down in strips on our yard. And the results were just absolutely amazing with it. Just these, these dark green strips where everything else was kind of fading out as fall came through. And that's how we came up with this, that cheap organic material. Now don't forget in the description, there's a link. It'll take you over to web page. So if you say, where'd you get this and how do I get, it's on that web page. I put this video up with all the information on a web page so you don't have to go searching for it. And you don't have to ask it in the comments. It's down there. So if I talk about something, it's down there. But today what I'm doing, and we've been doing for the past couple of weeks, is we've been doing this, what I call black tar injection process. Now this black tar injection process, basically I'm taking, you can take a, just a regular water bottle or you can take a two liter bottle and I steal some of the humichar from my lawn and I fill it up about three quarters of the way and then I add super juice with a little bit of micro pack inside of it and I just let it, I just shake it, shake it, shake it until it all dissolves and I end up with like this black tar, end up with this black tar sort of substance. And what it is, is it's a 50-50 mix of humic acid and biochar. Now it's all charged up with good stuff. And then what I do with my potted plants and my established plants is I'm basically going in and just poking a few holes around the root zone, pouring some of this. I make sure I get the heavies, and that's the key to this. You can't put this in a sprayer because it won't work. Um, I make sure I get the heavies and put this around the root zone, and then I water it in, water it in, water it in, and now I have charged biochar and humic acid all going down to the root zone of the plant. Now remember, you're not putting a lot of nutrients there. That's not the job of this. Biochar, I just did a big long 30 minute video because uh, it's better than Netflix. You can binge watch it. It's a long video, it's 30 minutes explaining biochar and how it works on your lawn and what it does. I just finished that video, it's up on our channel, so watch it. The other video you might wanna watch if you're a gardener is watch um, the best garden soil video, Dirt Dynasty, I think I called it. <laughs> Two beards on the front of it. And we show you what we, what we did was we made this fabulous garden soil, not using any fertilizers this year. We're just using humichar and organic matter basically is all we're doing is just mixing that up and just letting that feed the plant. And let me tell you what, my vegetable garden's kicking butt already. But we did this, I did this on a couple of plants, did it on some rose bushes, another rose bush. I'm doing it on potted plants around my area. You, know, you get that old soil, the potted plants, you need something to rejuvenate it. Guess what? Well, Doc's black tar, man. <laughs> it tastes good. But that's really all I'm making. So again, biochar inside of a water bottle, small one or a two liter, whatever you want. I like the small ones actually. Put in a little bit of that super juice mixture. I put super juice, I take like half a gallon of warm water half a cup of super juice and a little bit of the micro pack that I'll list in the description on that page. Um, mix it all up and then I pour that in here and I just pour a little bit in just enough to make it kind of liquid. And again, you have to agitate this constantly. So before I dump it, I agitate it and I pour it around the base of the plant with the holes in it, water it in, and now I'm getting this all down to the plant. Um, and remember, biochar will last for 200 years. Humic acid and fulvic acid, that's a seasonal thing. Uh, and humichar is 50-50. The biochar is 200-year sponges, basically, what you're putting in it. It's gonna hold all the nutrients. It's gonna hold all those good microbes. It's gonna hold water. It's gonna do everything that's good. Trust me, decades and decades of, of research have been done on this stuff. And uh, the agricultural industry is way ahead of everybody else on this stuff. <laughs> way ahead of everybody else. So uh, I'll just show you me playing and I'll put it in. By the way, humichar, today is April 14th, I think. Yeah, today is April 14th or 15th. Um, I did talk to Anderson's and they have two truckloads ready. They're waiting for Amazon to pick it up. Amazon hasn't picked it up. 
So I'm thinking Amazon will pick it up maybe the end of this week. Take another week to get there, so human chart is coming. And Anderson says they have another two truckloads behind that one, so um, thankfully human chart will be available. Try not to touch my face because I'm beautiful and I don't want that black stuff on my face. <laughs> so I'll show you what I'm doing. Hey guys, so I'm back in the laboratory. <laughs> the COVID lavatory and let me show you what I'm playing with right now so we understand that this is really beneficial but how do we deliver this product to already potted plants or already planted in other words if you have a garden rose bushes potted plants so what I've done is I've just taken a water bottle and I've filled it three quarters full of humichar and now what I'm gonna do and I did that I just used a little funnel and fill the three quarters. Now we could do this on a larger scale with like a liter, you know, two liter Coke bottle, I guess. Um, but what I want to do is I want to be able to shake it and deliver, make sure the heavies are getting down inside the injection. So I'm going to put fill now. We're going to fill this up with some super juice without spilling it. My wife's rug. So this is the super juice with the microbial pack and I'm just going to pour it in here. And you can see that I've filled it up and it sort of sucks it all back in. The biochar absorbs a lot of it. So now I can put the cap back on it and we'll see if the science experiment explodes here. I'm just going to shake it and I'm going to let it sit until I don't hear that rattle of the pellets which will be about five to ten minutes usually. Shake it every so often and again we're creating that we're creating that black sludge it's kind of a gritty black sludge that's humic acid, biochar, super juice, the microbes, everything inside of there. So here's an example of a plant that <laughs> is abused. So what I'm going to do is, is I have my bottle here. I'm just going to give it a shake. And a lot of people want to know, can I just put this in like a spray can? The problem is, is the heavies are not going to get where you want to go. Basically, I'm putting that black nasty tar there's very little nutrients actually inside of this. There's a small amount of fertilizer, but there's really not that much. So it's not like you're going to burn anything. You're just improving the soil through the humic and the biochar inside of it. That's what we're doing and adding microbial activity. Okay. So this is our vegetable garden we put in this year. And we used our super soil, which contain humichar, super juice, micro pack and organic matter. And that's it. No fertilizers other than that. Now these tomato plants were planted and they were what, maybe six to eight inches tall a couple weeks ago. And look at them. They are absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at all and they're already getting a ton of the flowers on there too. Peppers are doing well. More tomatoes over here. This is our uh, yellow squash. Again, planted in that same soil with just humichar and organic matter and the super juice. And then again, our old soil that we're rotating out, we put dumped over here, but I'm still growing in it. And you can see my peas. So my peas are coming up. It's time to get a uh, system going for those. But basically what we've done, all we did is just took that black cow compost mixed in humichar super juice pack organic matter and let it bake just let that stuff just sort of cook it's amazing what happens to it it's such a strong reaction the digestive process when I poke a hole in it you'll see steam coming out of it and it got up to like 140 150 degrees and that steam coming out of the center of it is the energy released by all this stuff interacting <laughs> Uh, and then we just mix that on a small amount in with our regular soil and no fertilizer this year. We're not using any fertilizer on our gardens. That's all we're putting down. 
just that. Hey guys, so real quick, I'm just gonna walk you through this process one time real quick. Water bottle, any size you want with about three quarters of humichar. I took uh, warm tap water, added about, uh, about half a gallon, maybe half a cup of super juice, and then microbial pack. Link to the microbial pack in the description below. And it sort of absorbs a lot of it. And then you just gotta shake it. Now, the human char is in DG particle form. So it basically disperses within a minute or two. And you'll hear these granules sort of disappear. You can just leave it aside come back in a few minutes. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna go treat one of my pepper plants over here, even though it probably doesn't need it. Uh, I'm gonna go treat one just to show you. Now this is true for any plant you have, flowers, anything. If you can stick your finger around it, poke some holes around the root zone, or take a rod and gently poke holes around the root zone, down to the root area, and then we're gonna put this on top and then we're gonna water that in, let me show you. Okay, this pepper plant doesn't need it, but I'm gonna do it anyways, because this is already in the good soil, but I'm gonna show you anyways. So I'm gonna make a little trough around here. Make a little trough around here, so that all the water goes down here. And then poke a couple holes down to the root zone. I'm gonna put a little bit of this around it. That's plenty for one plant. And then just water it in. If you see any leaking, build up a little wall. Looks like I got a little bug damage there. I'm gonna have to treat that. And that's all I'm doing. So now that plant's all set. And you can go along, you can do all your plants. If you got flowers in the beds, you can do the same thing. It's a pretty simple process, it goes pretty quick, and you only have to do it once a season, that's it. Just one time in the season. Okay, real quick, I'm just gonna show you a couple plants that have actually had this treatment a few weeks ago, um, and they've already started to respond to it. Now remember, when you get your human char, human char hopefully will be available within the next couple weeks. We got two trucks going up to Amazon, and then another two trucks gonna, gonna follow that, so hopefully it'll be in stock. Um, but just save some of that for your plants. Put about you know a gallon or two aside so you can do these plants that you have. Uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful treat. These knockouts don't get enough sun and they weren't doing as well, so I treated these a couple weeks ago and man, they are just absolutely just loaded, these knockout roses. The other plants I did, I did one long stem plant here. I have a long stem rose right here and it's absolutely gorgeous too. I just treated my banana trees, my banana plants. I just treated my banana plants because they were looking a little weak, but again, and all this garden right here has had this mixture of organic matter, bio, uh, the humichar, and that super juice mix. And that's it. We're not using any fertilizers this year whatsoever. We're just relying on that digestive process to create all the nutrients it needs. And man, they're just absolutely gorgeous. The other thing is, is this microbial action will actually fight the bad fungus. And this is one of the first times that I haven't had any fungus issues on my tomato plants. And this Bermuda lawn over here, this is the thickest thickest uh, section of my entire lawn over here. And actually it doesn't get a whole, doesn't get too much sun. But this was last fall, we did the organic treatment and humid char back over here, real heavy. Now that's, that's about a half inch cut right there. It is so thick, you cannot even get down to a thatch layer. That is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. 30 videos coming out. Click subscribe so you don't miss any, number one. Number two, um, just keep an eye out. I'll put a link again to the human char, the organic material, the super juice. Just go to the description. I'll take you to a web page. That's about it. And uh, join us next week on this, this old yard with Doc. And we're doing some few different projects. You can see the new landscape, the pavers back there around the shed. We're building a garden back over there. Uh, we got an irrigation system coming in tomorrow for the new irrigation system for this back part. I'll probably put that on video for the heck of it. Uh, 
trimming bushes, power washing. Dude, you don't want to miss this later, Doc. Thank you.